Finding refined sugar-free condiments can sometimes be difficult in the stores, and if you do find them, sometimes they're not all that tasty. This Whole30 compliant barbecue sauce is one of my favorite condiments. Sometimes I eat foods just so that I can eat the barbecue sauce. The best part about it, it's made in this blender. You just dump everything in and whiz it up. All right, so we're starting with a ton of vinegar. I know that looks like a lot, but this does make a big batch. Plus I like a good vinegary barbecue sauce. Okay, and then I have dates. So this is what I'm using to sweeten this barbecue sauce. This keeps it fruit sweetened, which makes this a good condiment to be using on some of your January challenges that you're probably starting off on. And then we have tomato puree. And then we have some tomato paste just to help thicken this up a little bit. I'm gonna throw a garlic clove in there. The nice thing about doing things in your blender is you don't have to chop anything up. And then we have a mix of a bunch of different spices. So there's salt and pepper, there's onion powder, there's cayenne, paprika, chili powder, quite a few things in here. Two teaspoons of fish sauce. So I know that that sounds a little bit strange, but it gives it a really good salty flavor and a mixture of coconut aminos to kind of mimic that Worcestershire sauce. Okay, and the last ingredient here is some liquid smoke. So this is natural but it gives it kind of the flavor, the smoky flavor that you really love in barbecue sauce. And you don't need much of this, just a few drops. You can always do it to taste later. And now we'll let the blender do the work for us. Okay, so depending on how thick it is, you might need to add one or two tablespoons of water, but I think this looks perfect. I like a little bit thicker of a barbecue sauce. I think it just kind of sticks to what you're eating. It can coat chicken really nicely or serves as a wonderful dipping sauce. If it's too thin, it just kind of runs right off. So I'm good with this. I don't think we need to add any water at all. All right, we go through this pretty quickly, especially if I'm planning on using it in a recipe throughout the week. So I'm just gonna put it in a jar store it in the refrigerator. You could, of course, put it in the freezer as well. It'll last for about six months. Or you could divide this up and put some in the freezer and some in the refrigerator. Then you've got barbecue sauce on hand at any given moment. All right, guys. Sugar-free, paleo-friendly barbecue sauce at your fingertips in, what did that take, five minutes?